Hi, I'm Artie Dance, and welcome to this quick review. For this review, I'll be taking a look at the movie Maruta 2, Laboratory of the Devil, the second in a series of Hong Kong movies about the atrocities of war committed by Japanese soldiers against Chinese citizens. And heads up, this won't be a quick review. So, what's it about? Gore and graphic imagery, and about showing the audience how horrible the Japanese treated the Chinese in the years before World War II. The movie explores the experiments done by Troop 731, who were tasked with creating germs that could kill people on contact. Specifically, we follow a young doctor excited to be taking part in the project to assist Japanese war efforts, but eventually revolts against the disturbing nature of the effects. The doctor's fiancé and future father-in-law are captured and sent to the camp where the tests are being conducted. The father-in-law is also a doctor and he is forced to work in the disinfection lab, while the fiancé, who is mistaken for a Chinese villager, is sent to be experimented on. When he finds out she's there, he rallies the captured Chinese villagers to start a revolt against the army, but it ultimately ends in everyone's death. This movie is told from the point of view of one of the surviving army doctors who also took part in conducting these experiments. Is it worth watching? Tough question. Movies like this are never an easy recommendation. It doesn't hold back in showing the gore, and those that are squeamish are not going to enjoy watching this. The themes are also very heavy, dealing with a very controversial part of both Japanese and Chinese history. The movie might not be accurate, but certainly these types of experiments did happen. Just don't be looking for a documentary here. What's worth discussing are the production elements of the movie. It's decently acted by the main cast, but supporting characters let the overall quality and atmosphere of the film down, evident in one scene in particular where a soldier is being punished by a general. The over-the-top sound effects already take away from the immersion of the scene, but the camera is positioned in a way that you can see all the strikes are clearly missing the soldier. He then turns around and you can see a smirk, almost a laugh, on his face. That shouldn't have made the final cut. The last 30 minutes of the film are also quite confusing. The first hour is well paced, if a little slow, but generally sets up the story of what's going on. But then all of a sudden it feels like the director just wanted to finish the movie and the final scenes, which are the most important of the movie, happen too quick with little explanation. Very unsatisfying. Also unsatisfying is the Hong Kong Pandora Entertainment Blu-ray release, which is what I used for this review. The English subtitles are a mess of machine translation that frequently uses the wrong word or context. It's clear the Chinese subtitles were just run through an automatic translation with very little quality control. It doesn't completely ruin the movie, as you still get the idea of what's going on and can interpret the rest, but I'm wondering what nuances I missed due to the translation. And another obvious dissatisfaction with this particular release is the picture quality. Historically, there are multiple versions of this movie out there, and for different reasons or another, there are heavily censored versions that omit almost all the gore, autopsy, nudity and violent scenes. It seems that either Pandora, or the original film producers, do not have access to a full and uncut print of the film. So what we get here is restored high-definition video of the common censored version that's mixed in with the unrestored poor quality video of the previously censored scenes. This is jarring to watch, especially the graphic autopsy scene at the beginning which starts with the restored footage and quickly cuts to unrestored footage. The audio, however, remains in high quality, so this is a curious one. But for purists, it's essentially an uncut version of the movie, just not completely in high definition. What is satisfying is the music track that's used throughout the film. It's haunting and appropriate. Thanks for watching this quick review. Look out for more on my channel.